Hello curious people. Today, we have another exciting video for you. Today we will discuss one of SDRG's projects from early in 2000 which controlled equipment for a manufacturing process which allowed the operator to produce down-hole material at the customer's site. The resulting material was custom-made for that specific location. SDRG Controls designed and produced the equipment to make their process happen. SDRG Controls Equipment was designed to take flammable raw materials and measure specific quantities of each and feed them into a stainless steel tote. Once properly and precisely measured into the tote, the product was mixed with base material to produce the exact product for that location's downhole application. The old, costly way was to make it in the factory and drive totes to the field. They saw this as a big improvement while still providing custom formulations. They wanted to work with us, and we set up a meeting to follow up. Follow along as we take you through the project. We hope you enjoy the journey. The original systems were developed using the control systems of the time. The original controls were developed before PLCs, or programmable controllers, and HMIs, or man-machine interfaces, were common. Even with these limitations the controls still needed to store and edit recipes. So computer screens and backed-up computer memory was employed. These were computers ruggedized for field application. SDRG controls also had to address interfacing with electrical controls to operate the valves, movements, and mixing devices. To address this need there were electric devices which would turn on and off electronic switches. They also had to monitor the state of limit switches and field devices. Transition Technologies was one of the companies which provided these devices. They were incorporated into our early systems. Early screens were not as bright as modern HMIs, so sun shades were incorporated. Follow along as we move through the early process and evolved it to modern technology. The customer worked with us to develop several working models of their desired equipment. The equipment consisted of a skid with electromechanical equipment and an electronic control panel. The system required storing recipes, then recalling them for measuring ingredients production at the job site. Ingredients were drawn from containers at the customer's job site. The ingredients were then mixed with an agitator and delivered to the customer. The customer wrote up the specification and drew up diagrams of the desired system. They developed complete specs for the desired system which included component specifications, operating details, parts lists and several diagrams including a process and instrument diagram. After the prototype, one of the first systems was destined for Africa, as it eliminated the need for many custom batches and shipping containers, as many products were custom blends of the same raw ingredients. The customer and SDRG controls were very pleased with the results. The measuring and mixing equipment which the control panel operated was contained on a single skid. The skid was designed so that it could be mounted on the back of a truck or used on the ground providing a platform for many applications. The skid included motor-operated valves, solenoid valves, an intrinsic safe scale system, an air-driven mixer and other necessary components to make the system work. In addition to the mechanical components, the skid included the electrical hardware. The wiring was housed in explosion-proof enclosures. The bottom of the skid included a collection tray so that any leaks or spills were contained so as to not contaminate the surrounding area. Connections to the supply and finished material was provided by camlock type hose connections. The whole package provided a complete measuring and mixing system. It could be easily transported to a remote job site or shipped halfway around the world as needed. Over the years, the system was improved and modified. A couple of the many improvements included the transition to PLC controls. Also, the user interface was changed from a computer with a screen to a PLC with an HMI. The hardware proved to be reliable and durable. 
the new controls hardware proved to be more rugged and durable. The overall system provided cost and supply benefits by supplying the customer with the materials he needed for the job he was performing at that moment. The customer found that the same mixing skid could be used for several different product lines. The skids were easy to clean, durable, and could produce many different product variations. Experience taught them that oil-based products could be produced on one system. But, it was learned that the water-based products should be produced on a separate group of mixer systems, as thorough cleaning was required before changing product base material. The blending skids were used everywhere. They could easily be transported via truck to any place in North and South America. They could be crated and shipped all around the world. In fact one of the early models was even shipped to South Africa. This unit even had factory support from SDRG controls in South Africa. We maintained parts inventory in the beginning, but this was eventually taken over by the customer. But, on occasion they would still request a service technician hop on a plane to service an immediate problem in the field. The blending skids were basically a sum of many simple systems. Sometimes the difficulty with locating a problem was finding the root cause of the problem. Problems could be in the hydraulics, valves, wiring, controls, etc. What appears as a simple problem with one of the hydraulically driven pumps not delivering product to the mix may be hard to track down. The main hydraulic pump would turn a hydraulic motor which operated the ingredient feed pump. Electric motor operated valves stopped flow from the feed tanks. Most of these devices were electrically operated. The root cause of the problem could be electrical, a motor, or any of the hydraulics. In one case, it turned out to be a worn coupling in the main hydraulic pump. Tough problems could be simple, low-cost fixes that were hard to find. Overall, the system was rugged and durable. Over time the system was updated and unreliable parts were replaced to good ones. SDRG controls updated the control system to PLCs and HMIs. Durability was improved to the point that troubleshooting was simple and repairs were a snap. The equipment and its products became a commodity. This is the brief history of another SDRG control system. We hope you enjoyed the trip down memory lane and that when you need a system or just a repair, you will keep SDRG controls in mind. Thanks again for your time and interest. SDRG Controls is here to help you with your controls, instrumentation, implementation, and repairs. We design, build and maintain the highest quality systems. We help with the smallest parts through a complete design, specify, construct, startup and long-term maintenance services. If you have a system or a problem, please call, we will be happy to help. Call 713-713. 2420822 or write to SDRG Controls Incorporated 8234 Braniff Street Houston Texas 77061 5204 Thanks again and we look forward to hearing from you